Good morning, guys. Today on Sins TV, it's gonna be all about me. <laughs> How are you today? I'm doing great. We woke up in this beautiful house right in front of the ocean. And I have a beautiful girlfriend that made me mimosas with pineapple, bananas, and coffee. I'm originally from Pennsylvania. I grew up in a medium-sized town outside of Pittsburgh. My dad had awesome work ethic. He worked his ass off at the steel mill, working double shifts to pay for me and my sister's college. I had a really great childhood. I remember one thing from my childhood that I, I didn't like at the time. I always had to be home every night at 5.30 for dinner. I hated it then because I'd be out you know, the woods, playing with my friends, or when I got older in the woods, probably doing shit I shouldn't have been doing. But now I realize that it was such a positive thing. I would usually go to the gym right about now, but since we're on vacation, and it's beautiful out, I'm gonna go for a run. I started working out when I was, I think, 19. Growing up as a teenager, I was just a scrawny kid. I probably weighed a buck 35, a buck 40. And I was a shy kid too, so it was like I had to do something to generate attention from the ladies. I started working out just in my house with like a little cheap weight set, a little $100 weight set. You know, I did that for probably a year and it was, wasn't all about it. It was just kind of something I did to, you know, look a little better. But then once I got to college, and you know, started going to the weight room. That's when I really got hooked on it. Started going every day and you know, just reading and learning everything I could about exercise and diet. I just, I just wanted that knowledge. So I did whatever I could to learn. And most people know me as being, you know, the ripped up bald guy from porn. But the last two years in Hawaii, I've been pretty content, pretty chill. So I've gotten a little bit soft. It's time to, it's time to get ripped up, get hard again, get these abs back. It's time to cool off. After I graduated college, I knew I wanted to get the fuck out of Pennsylvania. I just hate the cold weather. When I was in college, someone actually planted the seed in my head to be becoming a porn star in the future. Um, a girl that I had went to high school with was in the business, and she had told me that I would be perfect for it. But I was 20, 21 years old in college, and wasn't really that interested at that time. You know? I got a job in construction. It was tough, it was you know six days a week, 10, 12 hours a day. Getting into porn had always been in the back of my head. I started just answering ads and just doing whatever I could to, to try to get in. When I decided porn was an option and I wanted to pursue it, I quit my job and packed up all my shit and drove out to LA. I found some gigs on Craigslist that I didn't pay anything, you did them for free, but it was legitimate. You know? Craigslist is really bad though. If you're trying to get into porn, 99% of ads on there are completely fake. That's why a lot of people are, well, you have to do gay porn first before you get into porn. You have to jerk off with this guy, and then we'll let you have sex with a girl. So you really don't have to do gay porn first, so don't let anybody tell you that. And then once I got into porn, I kind of just always waited for it to end. 
It was kind of too good to be true. Telling my parents was the hardest part, I think. I, I think I didn't tell them for a year. I, I lied to them and told them I was still working my other job. Just because I didn't know it was going to last. And I didn't want to tell them if it wasn't going to last. So one day I was like, all right, I got to tell them, you know. It's, it's not stopping. It's not coming to an end. So I just called them one night like I always do. And I was like, well, I have something to tell you guys. I haven't really been doing my part-time job. I've been doing porn. And they were kind of questioning me, like, what? Seriously? And they're like, what exactly are you doing? I was like, well, exactly, I'm having sex with girls for money. And, you know, I assured them that, you know, I was safe, I wasn't on drugs, I was happy. My sister really helped me out with my parents because she talked to them too, and she was living in LA at the time. We're from, you know, Pennsylvania, so doing porn there is completely crazy. So she was like, you know, for, for LA, it's, it's, it's not abnormal. After that, it was cool. We, we don't really talk about it. They ask about how everything's going, and, but definitely no details. I would say I'm a pretty down-to-earth guy. And I think my friends from college and high school would tell you I'm pretty much the same person now that I was back then. My main goal in life is really to just be happy and be stress-free and, and not live in other people's rat race. Living in LA is a perfect example of that. I mean, on the freeways alone, it's just everyone is in a race to get somewhere, to get to work, to get here, to get there, and it just seemed crazy to me. I never really believed in the white picket fence, get married, get the dog, and then comes the baby, and try to get promotions, and move up the ladder in your career, and mow your lawn. That never appealed to me. I always just wanted to be nomadic and free to travel wherever I wanted and pick up and live for a year here and live for a year there. So many people are just, you know, kind of robots day by day by day doing the same thing and not really enjoying life. And there's just so much more to this world than, you know, a nine to five job. And nothing gets under my skin more when people tell you, you know, you have to do it this way. You don't have to do it that way. You know, you can do it whatever way you want. I'm in a really good place in my life right now, and you know, it's only gonna get better. Started my own production company, and having Kissa, she's just amazing, loves to share pussy. I mean, what could be better than that in a girlfriend? And my two dogs, Primo and Luna, who love them to death and would do anything for them. And living in Hawaii for the last two years has been a blessing, but uh, you know, I love to work out and be really healthy. I eat really healthy. Yoga is one of the things I like to do to keep me feeling young. And I'm really fucking happy and proud to say I'm living life on my own terms, you know, the way I want to live it. So now I'm gonna do some yoga and stretch out and relax. That's what I like to do before bed. And listen to the beautiful ocean. Can't beat that.